Good morning from day two of the Lofoten crossing. It is 7 a.m. I woke up at 6 a.m. Now I'm preparing my breakfast over there. Coffee and porridge. The reason I do it over there is because there's a little wind. As you can also see by the waves here. And another interesting thing is Oh, it already has, has disappeared a little bit. But the interesting thing is that the water uh, came much closer to the shore. So, so there are definitely tides, uh, high tide and low tide. When I woke up at six uh, and went to the bush toilet, this was the water was right at the edge. Yeah. So this it looks like a lake, but it's salt water. I tried. Uh, it's if you look on the map, it's like two very big lakes. This one and one around the corner there too. And it's, but it's connected with uh, with the ocean through, yeah, one very narrow uh, passage. So that's definitely that's why it has high tide and low tide, I guess. Okay, having my coffee here. Oh. Ah. Uh. So, uh, yeah, wind picked up a little bit at night, but no storm and the, the tent had no problem with it. There was some drizzling, I heard, and yeah, the, the bells of the, the sheep were constantly there, getting close, getting away again. So I was thought, okay, are they going to check me out now? But I think they didn't, never came too close. Uh, yeah, and I was okay, could sleep in t-shirt shorts maybe at midnight uh, you know just that time when when we sun really sets I think today was uh, half past midnight or yesterday half past midnight and then 1 32 a.m. was sunrise again so that period that yeah, it's the coldest time of the night I would say and then yeah, maybe in the morning also then I uh, needed the sleeping bag before I was just laying on top of the sleeping bag because it feels more comfortable not being in contact with the air mattress. Uh, I took a, a three season sleeping bag. That's way too warm. Don't need it. Nights here, I would say 18 degrees, 20 degrees. Yeah, the summer sleeping bag will be fine. But uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know where the next camp will be. Could be higher up in the mountains and then it's colder. Could be, could be. So better be safe and sleep with the Free season sleeping bag, just open, yeah, use it like as a blanket. Okay, I think my porridge is ready. Time to break for breakfast. Okay, everything is already packed. Are you windy now? because the sun came up and then it always gets a bit windier. Everything is packed. Leave no footprint, leave no trace, whatever, no rubbish, everything with me. And now it's already 8.20, let's go. No, not let's go, I am speed. Ooh, okay, let's try to find the path again, the path back to the road it was kind of hidden. <laughs> Okay, somewhere over there. So, yeah, back on the road. I have to walk maybe three kilometers, two and a half to the campsite now, where I will brush my teeth and hopefully get some water. Ooh, like half an hour along the street but it was fine it's not much traffic not so warm put in the shade here it was okay but now let's have a stop there and see if I can get a coffee and water and brush my teeth Ok, 
Okay, nice to have some refreshment. You're much better now. Brushed my teeth. <laughs> Coffee, sandwich, Gatorade, or Powerade, whatever it is. I actually spent way too much time at that campsite, cafe. <laughs> it is almost 11 now. So, oh, I think was there one and a half hours? Yeah. I don't know, three coffees, two of those power rates and a sandwich. I don't know. I just needed that. I felt terrible yesterday evening. To be honest, I was completely exhausted, dehydrated. I drank so much but still felt dehydrated. This morning, same. I prepared my coffee and porridge and did this little talk with you. And after that, I don't know, I, I didn't feel well. I had to lay down again in the tent for another half an hour. <sighs> yeah. Definitely very hard yesterday. So I asked the woman there at the campsite how long they are open in the evening the reception and she said in summer season until 11 p.m. That means I could have made it because I somehow thought they open until 9 and it was around 9 then 9 30 that I decided okay it makes no sense anymore I stay here where I am yeah I don't regret that it was a beautiful spray beautiful spot definitely very cool camping spot. That was like uh, 15 minutes walk on the road, but now I'm already on the gravel road, off from the main road, heading somewhere up there so today's hike will be 14 kilometers starting from the campsite because normally that would be the second day of the Lofoten crossing starting from the campsite so 14 kilometers uh, around 600 meters of uh, elevation gain and should be around five hours but <laughs> for me I calculate ten hours optimistically <laughs> Whew. there's no special mountain today so we go up it's more like okay we go over this area you could call it mountain pass there are a couple of lakes of up there and then on the other side it goes down again towards small there so we are going back to where we came from yesterday morning but of course we will not go into the city the hike will stop just before depending if you want to wild camp it's before or even if you want to go to the campsite it's also before the campsite is outside of Svolver one thing that's really interesting here is how many Tesla cars are there? It's like flooded here with Teslas. <laughs> when I drive around in I don't know, Bavaria, of course I see Teslas, but not so many than here. It's like every second Norwegian has a Tesla. There was just a Tesla car right next to this road from a house somewhere on the hill. The car was parked there and just there was a little charging station. <laughs> I was on Svolver at the airport, like so many Teslas, big area uh, with yeah Tesla charging stations. There's nothing signposted here, so make sure you have a map. For example, up there, this private house. You almost walk through the garden of that house. So it's I think important that you really know where you're going, yeah. Don't disturb the privacy of the people. 
far. If they get disturbed too much, I wonder if they just say, no, we don't want hikers to go through here anymore. So be respectful here, yeah, people. It's the reality. It's wet. No makeup. <laughs> First 100 meters of altitude are in the books. Somewhere over there is the campsite where we started. Hell. Not sure where we're going, I think. Maybe that direction. I don't know. So far the hike is very quiet. I had one trail runner who overtook me some time ago. And just over there, when I had my little break, there was a couple uh, with day packs who overtook me. They probably go up to that lake area. Very muddy here at the moment. This whole area. Actually all the way from over there, this whole part is yeah. Very muddy. I have to navigate and find a way. It's very deep mud. If you sink in here then your shoe is gone. Lord of the Ringish <laughs> again. Ha, ah, okay. Almost at 380, 390 meters. Should be able to see the lake soon, <laughs> if it's not too foggy. Ha, ah, there it is. <laughs> this big white open area there <laughs> yeah that's the lake we're getting a bit closer there ah. Ah, awesome. I can still see some snow there Kaltes, klares Wasser. Oh, not so much to see at the moment. We are in the clouds, on the fog. But that's fine. We had Amazing views, amazing weather yesterday. So I'm okay. It's mysterious, out of the windish. Still a little bit up now. 
that way I think another I don't know 100 meters until we reach the highest point today and then on the other side it's steep down <laughs> Super foggy at the moment. We really have to focus. I'm going from one stone man to the next. See this one there, and then next one, kind of there. Just looking at the path can be confusing. I don't really trust it because very often you think, oh, this looks like the path is really clear. But then it's not, it's an animal path or whatever. Like here in the rocks, very difficult. The only thing you can trust are these stone piles or stone mans. Yeah. I think I see another one, another one up there. And then of course I still have a GPS map with me. So that also helps me checking if I'm still on the right path. Sorry that I cannot show you. Any views? Anything more interesting here? It's just too foggy. Just one thing that just came to my mind. The first lake up there. Uh, my original idea was that maybe in good weather, if I feel strong, that I camped there after the first day. So yesterday evening, that was my destination. It was completely out of my possibilities. The reason was uh, there's a, another YouTube video of a group of guys. They did that. They started very early from the from the trail at yesterday, and then basically had coffee at the campsite and then continued to the lake. They always have good weather there and camped next to it. I thought that in good weather, like yesterday, it would be cool then to camp here and let the drone fly and have a look around with no other people. Yeah, but you have to take the things how they how they come. Yeah, you cannot predict the weather. Of course, I could predict to carry a lighter backpack. Uh, let's move on. I'm speed. Life always finds its way. Oh. Hello, stone man. Okay, it's going down already. So I've prepared myself, put on a knee bandage, and just retied my shoes. Oh. I had the knee bandage yesterday already, and uh, I put it on before. <laughs> before the knee starts to hurt. Yesterday worked very good. No knee pain at all. It was still hard, yeah, but no knee pain. So that definitely helps. And with the shoes, uh, yeah, I always uh, check if the shoes are tight. Yeah, just, just make them tight again before the downhill part, because when you go downhill, then the, the shoe uh, the foot in the shoe tends to slide downwards in the shoe, huh? and then yeah, in worst worst case, uh, the toes start to touch the front of the shoes, and that's not good. <laughs> you will end up with blisters or pain. So make sure uh, downhill uh, shoes are much tighter than uphill. Uphill they can be a bit more comfortable. Yeah, my recommendation. So I walked a couple of meters in that direction because it looks like it looked like the path, you know, I was coming from there, and just following the flat, just going straight. But then I realized there was no stone there, no, yeah, no marker anymore. I just immediately stopped, looked around and saw this one. So I was actually here and then goes that direction. So 
it's like almost 90 degrees different direction yeah <laughs> it happens so quickly here little steep section here looks a bit sketchy in the fog <laughs> Wow, super careful here. Oh, that section was not so pleasant. <laughs> and the fog with the big backpack. I had to go down on my butt and then, I don't know, put the sticks in one hand, use the other hand to hold myself. It was quite rocky there and steep. But, however, some snow patches here. I hope we don't have to cross them. But I think the path goes kind of straight here. I cannot see the next marker yet. My senses are a bit on alert at the moment here. Because it's super foggy, it's still not going down. I thought it would go down, but we're still up here on, I don't know, plateau. I cannot see anything. It goes up and down, up and down. Some sketchy passages. I always have to focus to see the next marker again. Yes. Sometimes it drizzles a little bit, very, very light, which I believe is just maybe in the fog, some more moisture. But yeah, higher word at the moment. Focus. So oh, definitely a lake here. I don't know how big. <laughs> also a lake on that side. And the path goes in the middle. Yeah. Be interested to see later on the map where I was. Oh, I could check the map now, but I mean I will check some photos how it should look like here. Little bridge here <laughs> across across the stream. At the moment this path is endless. <laughs> still not going down. I'm still at, I don't know, almost 500, no, 400 meters. That's the next, that's half an hour just walking along the mountain. Very slippery. It's drizzling a little bit. Windy. Yeah, it's hard. Hard to stay positive here. I'm speed. I came just down that rocky section there uh, on my butt. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? But now we have a little view again. I think that small bear over there. You still have to go down, and then I think on that side is the path. status update I'm coming down this slippery path through the yeah I don't know to the plants now just falling all the time my butt is completely dirty I'm bleeding from my knee I'm not showing that and we're still up high here whoo I'm having fun Okay, looks like I made it down in one piece. Now is there some sort of pipe here that goes to the lake. I think the path goes under there. Oh boy. Okay, boardwalk here. Makes it a bit easier. Okay. With all the craziness, I completely did not realize that it was drizzling the whole time. So, backpack is wet from outside. And now I put the cover on. This black jacket is kind of wet. So it doesn't matter anymore, I don't put on rain jacket. 
It's wet already. Oh. So decision is done. I will go to a campsite. I, uh, I need a reset. I'm, comp I'm so dirty. My legs are dirty, hands. I was in the mud so much. I need a reset, shower. Right guys, here we are in my new tent. No, of course, no. I upgraded, I'm at the campsite, but they had little rooms available and I couldn't say no. Yeah, it's actually for two people, but it was the cheapest I had. I'm just exhausted. I'm super exhausted. It's raining cats and dogs outside. My backpack is already wet. Shoes are soaking wet. Hands are wet. I'm completely dirty. Oh, look at this leg. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> this one. Get in the light. You can see better in the light. I'm having cramps in both legs. I mean cramps here. Yeah, like I said, need a reset. I don't think I have to apologize. It was my decision. I think it's just the best to reset everything, charge all the batteries, try all the things, and then tomorrow is a new day. And then the next two days will be wild camping anyway, there's nothing. So it's good to recharge a little bit. Yeah. But I'm still speed. <sighs> deep jungle here, deep jungle. Yeah, those rocks are very slippery here. Yeah? <sighs> Real life here. Yeah. There's no way. Legs are shaking. Uh.